things. I just kind of let you know what's going on in some areas. Uh, we are hiring a new front desk staff person. It's going to be a part-time position, 25 hours a week. Uh, we've had interviews for it and three people in. Uh, that's uh, uh, Tyra Powers been interviewing those folks, and we should make a decision shortly on that. We just had one person that's been on the force part-time that's leaving. But uh, you also may see ads in the paper. I know they've been running last week for a, a, a new part-time operations person. We've got one of our part-time operations guys that uh, is uh, actually going to be leaving us to join the Marines. So we're actually looking at uh, you know finding a new part-time operations uh, position as well. And those are the two positions we're actually uh, working with right now. Camera system, I want to elaborate on again. We talked about it uh, under the new equipment line item, but uh, it's all up and running, new DVRs. Uh, lighting retrofit. You know, we talked not long after our first drive about the Grand Hall. And you know, we've got kind of a mixed system in there now, the, the box fluorescent lights and the old fixtures. Uh, and I've got, I got received four different proposals from Consolidated Electric on different lighting systems. I think we are going to go back uh, initially with the, uh, with the first option, which is to replace, first we'll take the old fixtures which we still have, we're going to put them back up in Grand Hall 1. Uh, but then all, all 42 fixtures are going to have a new uh, big E bulb put in. It is a fluorescent fixture. Uh, and the reason, uh, and that's where technology changed. You can now there's a there's something there's a, something you can insert uh, that the fluorescent bulb screws into, so you can use fluorescent bulbs in those fixtures now. Dimmable fixtures. No, these are not dimmable. Uh, the uh, uh, the uh, but uh, it, it will give us on and off capability. But right now we don't have that. If you turn the lights off, you got to wait 15 minutes for them to you know restrike and come back on because they're just a metal halide like hanging on your tennis court lights. So it will give us that, but also give us brighter light for half, almost half the cost. These are 200 watt bulbs. The ones we got in there now are 400 watt. So you save money on the, the actual operation when you do have them on, uh, much more efficient and brighter light. Because uh, now when you see the fluorescent lights on and when and you have the grand hall all lit, you can tell there's a third that has the fluorescent in it is brighter than the other two thirds. So it's better better light on the floor. Uh, we're doing that uh, between now and the end of June. We're going to go ahead and do that. That's, that's, uh, Probably between $3,500 and $4,000 to do that work. Good news is we're going to put up the old fixtures ourselves, our, our director of operations. We can do that ourselves. We can put the, the old fixtures back up. So we're just going to pay them to install the new equipment, the new, the new bulbs, and the new ballast that go in the, with fluorescence. Uh, looking into next year, I've asked Consolidated Electric to give me a quote because part of the other quotes they gave us was uh, trying to get, we talked about dimmable fluorescence. Uh, the technology is, is getting there. It's still probably not where we'd all like it to be. But, but to put dimmable fluorescence in that hall with the with fluorescent bulbs, we would have to replace the other two-thirds of the pictures with the box-type pictures, which none of us, I don't think, find those too attractive anyway. Uh, so that was the only option to get dimmable fluorescence. But what I've done is I've talked to them. They've come in. We actually looked. Uh, CED was back in here last week. I said, okay, we're going to do the, the first of option number four, which is the cheapest, by the way, to the, the three or $4,000 to put fluorescence in the old pictures. But what we're going to add, look at adding next year, if the quote comes in okay, is uh, we have the three big divisions of the Grand Hall. We're going to talk about with those three divisions, you have sheetrock divisions between each hall, and there's actually a ledge up there, and there's plenty of superstructure metal up there to work with. So we're looking at coming in and putting in six to eight incandescent floods on each side of each Grand Hall. So you'll have two runs of lights, two runs of lights, two runs of lights, and putting in fully dimmable floods that will kind of but still be indirect. Most of the light will point upward until you get a glow. Because what we don't have there is a good banquet, a good banquet atmosphere. You just can't get that with these NVRs. And even the fluorescents are still kind of warehousing light. So this will give us full dimming capability, you know, from 0% to or 10% to you know, 100%. It will provide so we can actually turn out all of the warehouse. Right now, to have a banquet in there in the evening, we leave the emergency lights on and turn everything else off. And that's kind of what you get. You get a hot spot in the corners, and, you know, it's just it's very uneven. This would be the, the kind of glow, you know, which is a soft light on the floor uh, that can be at, at about 40 to 50 percent, which is what you want for a banquet. And and, uh, and I think since all the superstructure is exposed and all the electricity, the panels are easy to get to. Uh, I don't know what its price is going to be, but to do it with fluorescence is going to be about ten thousand uh, dollars. I think we can, you know, I don't know. I don't want to say what it's going to be with the pricing, but I'm getting pricing on just running, doing that work, putting you kind of doing it in. But since it's but since they don't have to go behind any walls, they don't have to go behind any sheetrock, it's all, it's all open. So that, uh, matter of fact, uh, uh, Russ Davis from CED, once I brought him back, he, he told me, he goes, man, I wish I had that idea, because that's a good idea, because it is easy. It should be easy to do, it gives you what you want, because a lot of ballrooms, or a lot of the exhibition halls that service ballrooms, it's just what our does. That room has to serve many masters. A lot of them have two, uh, I've not seen any of them that doesn't have two, some of them have three different lighting systems in the same room, because you, you try to, we're trying to make one lighting system do everything for everybody. It's great for trade show, 
but it, but it really doesn't do anything else well. So that's what we're going to get the pricing is okay. Hopefully that'll be something we do in the next budget year. But that's where we are on the on the lighting uh, side of things. Exactly. Yes. Um, has there been any discussion about um, some spotlighting in normal uh, locations for podiums? I mean, one of the things <coughs> I continually notice at various functions is the podium has no light. But one thing we're doing on our podiums, all of our stand-up podiums, we're putting light kits on to take care of you know that. Uh, one thing about this room I've noticed since I've used here, last week, in the last 10 days, we've had dinner for 650 in there three times. When you get that many, and it's like we're, we're kind of we're kind of putting six pounds of flour in a five pound bag, which doesn't leave you room for a follow spot. Let's put a follow spot on the floor. You've got to have eight foot of risers, and a, it takes a lot of space off the floor, which we don't want to do because we already have a lot of events where we're kind of busting at the scene. But what we're going to do, one, I think the indirect lighting will help us. So instead of having a, like I said, the, the choice now is to turn on the MVRs and have full light or no light. Uh, I think the dimmable lights will help solve some of this. You can have, you know, half the light if you wanted to. But also all of our standing podiums, which we've got, uh, I, know we've got I know we've got two, I think we have three, but we're going to put a, just a little, you can get lighting kits in form, and we're going to put those on our, because we noticed that the, uh, I guess it was the, uh, maybe the officer of the year, or whatever. We had a dinner, like I said, the podiums up there, and they went dark for the atmosphere, but then you can tell they're having trouble seeing their speech and whatnot, too. So I hope the lighting kits should resolve you know, a lot of that, too. Uh, that and the new lighting system, uh, uh, or the better lighting system, the future, hopefully that those two together will, will take care of a lot of that. Uh, but we're, uh, yeah, that's something we, it's been noticed by others, too, and mentioned before. So we're already planning on working on the podiums. Uh, 